it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another I track my calories for a full week as an intuitive eater video this video has been highly requested by a lot of you guys in the comments and I promise you I am reading them and I'm not ignoring you guys it just takes me a long time to first of all get the motivation to film one of these edit one of these and you know finally put it out there so if you guys would like to actually check out the other two that I have up on my channel I will link them down below and I will link them in the cards before we even start this video I want to clarify that this video is not about meticulously counting calories and showing you guys, oh my gosh, you need to eat this many calories to live a healthy life. The point of this video is actually quite the opposite. I wanna show you guys how calories can be super irregular throughout the week when you're just basically eating until you're full. Eating however much you want to, however much you feel like based on your stress levels, your hunger levels, how much you're active and your own metabolism. So even if you are the same weight and height as me, don't expect to be eating the exact same amount of calories because we are different people. Do what works for you. I want to put a disclaimer out there. If you are triggered by calories and if they are not helpful for you, then please feel free free to click off of this video because I really do not want to be responsible, you know, for triggering you. Do yourself a favor and click off if you know that calories are not going to help you out. And before we get into this video, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at Kim because I definitely post a lot of foodie updates on there. I also post some polls, some quizzes so I can feature you guys in future videos. And a lot of you guys do DM me on Instagram or comment down below on my YouTube videos for K-drama recommendations, food recommendations. And a lot of those are actually in my highlight stories that I made, you know, on my Instagram. So definitely Definitely go check those out if you're very curious about that. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Right now, it is 9 a.m. on Monday morning. We are starting off with breakfast with some freshly baked kurkuma that mom made this morning. And on top of that, we have some kamja tiki, super sugary and like hard on the outside. And they have some black sesame too. Those taste like kokuma candy, basically. Mm. And if you watch my other videos, then you know, as usual, I love to have a big spoon of peanut butter on the top of my potatoes, like that. This is a kokuma latte with cinnamon. This is one of my favorite things that my mom makes. What I eat in a week, kokuma edition. Honestly, I feel like we could do it. We literally could. If you would like to know how to make this beautiful, delicious koguma latte, check out Moksini Oma, my mom's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Oma made some beautiful spicy pork kimbap with some leftover veggies and egg, crab meat, odeng, and spicy pork that we had. So good. We have some thin white kuksu noodles. This is called chanchi kuksu. It's pretty good. I'm gonna try the chumokpa. Mmm. Pibim kuksu. So this one has like a soy sauce, sesame oil type of sauce on top. Whoa. 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 Look at that. Come on, stop. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Here's another bite with some kimchi and squash. Chloe's the cutest thing ever. Why is she sitting like this? Why is she sitting like this? Oh my, she's like buried in between two of the pillows. This is so cute. I literally got carried away and I already ate one of these without even filming it. Mmm. I like it salty. Mommy's currently cooking up some tteokbokki for dinner. It is time to try the jormyeon, odeng, and rice cake tteokbokki. It's really good. The like chewy, like stretchy texture of the jormyeon just works so well with rice cakes and odeng. Now it's the perfect texture. My nose is like running from all the tteokbokki. But we finished the whole thing. I'm going to have some Korean pear right here for dessert. But before then, we are going to taste test two gobukchi flavors. Chocolate churros, bean powder. That's what it looks like up close. Mm. Wow, that really tastes like a churro. Oh yeah, chocolate churro. Mm. Someone told me that I need to freeze these and try them. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm gonna bag them and stick them in the freezer. Mm. 
They're so clever. Oh my god, this tastes just like the duck that we love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good morning. It is 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Sarah's actually in the shower if you can hear the water going right now. I'm about to cook up some brunch for us because we just got back from a run slash walk slash jog. So I feel really good and now I'm a little bit hungry. Speaking of exercise, you guys know that exercise is actually a big part of my life. I try to incorporate basically hiking, walking, running, jogging, yoga almost every single day, at least for 20 to 30 minutes just to stay fit, stay healthy, and you know, keep my mental health up. And a huge motivator and confidence booster for when I'm working out is the clothes that I'm wearing. So that is why I'm so excited to introduce you guys to today's sponsor, which is Gymshark. I think this might be the most hyped up I've ever been to introduce you guys to a sponsor because I love Gymshark. I have been a huge fan of them since high school. When I first started going to the gym, I remember literally getting up at 4 a.m. and leaving by 5 a.m. to go to Santa Monica for their pop-up store. So I wanted to let you know that they have a summer sale that is starting on June 7th. It launches 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and 7 p.m. British summer time. So obviously one of my favorite items is the one I'm wearing right now, which is the Adapt Ombre Seamless Sports Bra. It's literally so comfortable, so beautiful. And the matching leggings, I'm telling you, feel like you're wearing nothing. But at the same time, they're so like compressing and they make you, first of all, look really good and feel really good when you're working out. You just feel very secure. Another one that is seriously so beautiful and comfortable is the Adapt Ombre Seamless Legging Set with the bra and the matching crop top. They are so easy to work out in. Last but not least, I put together the Vital Seamless Shorts in Black Marl along with the Adapt Seamless Sports Bra. Those two are so simple and I love the design of those shorts because they're definitely the perfect length for me and they don't ride up and I can definitely wear them with a lot of casual outfits too. So if you would like to go check out the Gymshark summer sale then definitely click the link in my description and thank you again to Gymshark for sponsoring this video. Uh, mom already has some fresh rice that she made. I just pan fried up this yummy carby. Oh my gosh, my mom seasoned it so well. Like it literally smells so, so good. That's what it looks like. All right, these peppers are so fresh. Sometimes you just have to be in silence with the food. Mm -hmm. Since we don't really have much to say this morning and we're just, you know, vibing and eating. We're gonna eat the rest of this Kogi and Sam off camera. Any last words? Bye. We finished part of daddy's Kogi. Now, since we're so little hungry, we're gonna have some squiddy panchan with our leftover pup. We also have keem on the side. Made a little squiddy wrap. We are trying, finally, this Hongguk Americano cold brew that I got from the Korean market a couple days ago. Big hit entertainment right back there. This better be authentic. Jungkook, I know that you're curating this just for us armies. <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. Actually, it's not too bad. Mmm, I like it. I like it too, because you know what? This tastes very mild. He looks so cute. We're trying the vanilla latte. Turn to light, why are these caps so darn hard to open? No! no. One, two, three. That is sweet. It's like very, very sugary. Definitely tastes like a Starbucks drink. This one just kind of tastes like milk, a little bit of coffee, and then straight sugar. Mm, I would. Next thing we're gonna try is the frozen kobuk chip that we froze the other day. Tastes that different to me. Mm. Actually, the Injomi one, I can taste it different. Yeah. The Injomi one feels a lot more crispy. Yeah, the other one, the, the one with the chimin, it's too sugary. Sorry, Chimin. I know that you're not responsible for this. I don't blame you, but it's too sugary. Let's show our peels off. We can go tape this in our drawers. Whoever thought of this is a genius. Go out and buy this right now. Part like 10 million of our brunch is mommy's protein balls. These have walnuts, black sesame, peanut butter, oats. I have been editing pretty much all day today and it's 5.45 p.m. Sarah and I are gonna share sumo orange for snack. Mummy is actually gonna pick up some sushi for us on her way home from work. Sarah and I are ecstatic. We're hangry. Find the jello. 
What is this? <laughs> I'm currently trying to find a nice jello gift for my morning routine slash day in the life slash what the? Doesn't this one just mesmerize you? Woo, I have a big rainbow roll. I had a shrimp one right here, but dad wanted it. So I switched it with his crunch roll, which is like basically a California roll with some crunchy stuff on top. I'm sure mommy will let me steal some, but she ordered a salmon collar with this beautiful sweet and sour type sauce. How would you rate your crunch roll? Mm -hmm. I would say about seven. Seven out of 10 from Pops. What about you? 10. 10. Yeah, we are a little hangry at the moment. We did go on our morning jog and I feel like whenever I exercise in the morning, I get like more hungry for the rest of the day. Mm. I've saved my juicy salmon. I've saved my biggest roll. Oh yeah, that's how we do it in the Kim household. It's different. For dessert, after we just finished our dinner, I'm having my usual peanut butter banana cinnamon honey snack. A lot of you guys have actually surprisingly hit me up in my DMs and was like, you made me fall in love with bananas and peanut butter. And like, I see you guys like making up this sliced banana creation. And I'm like, wow, wow. I'm so happy that you and bananas are friends now. This banana's good. Mother actually air fried more of the carby. It smells so delicious. Pound the alarm, baby. Mm, so fatty. Dessert number 57. Oh my god, it's so juicy. Oh, we stopped at the boba. Mm, the boba ice cream. We'll have it maybe tomorrow. Mama said that this sagua or apple is so good that she had to share with me, so I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Oh, ma. How do you feel about gaining subscribers? People are subscribing to your channel. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, Muxini thanks you guys for all your support. We have some very, very creamy kogumas. This is one of the creamiest batches. Look at it. It is like 8.15 p.m. I just drizzled some peanut butter on top of two koguma pieces. I probably will have more koguma, let's be real. Do you see that? Good morning, Chloe. Good morning. Why are you looking so cute today? It is 8.20 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday. I have a huge feast in front of me for breakfast. Mom made some takui, which is basically like the chicken version of purgogi. So it's the same sauce as yesterday. Mmm, that sauce is so good. I like the nurungji pap. There is a big bite of everything. Mmm. Yeah, this is perfect. Noodle jibap is delicious. Oh my god, I can eat that by itself. Mmm, Korean potato salad. So it has like cucumbers, carrots, stuff that American potato salad would not typically have. Mmm, this is really good. Time to try the shishito pepper. Mmm, I like it. Okay, so this is like a little seasoned rice ball. So yummy. Yeah, I love the chewy purple rice and like the wild rice inside, the black rice. It like gives it a little crunch, but then like with the seaweed inside, a little bit salty, a little bit crunchy. Alrighty, I finished all my rice. I ate about half of the chicken, half of the potato salad. I feel like have another one of these. I'm doing some work. I'm just chomping on some dark chocolate granola. I might have the sumo orange right after. These are actually really good. Eno Foods actually gifted these to me. So hashtag not sponsored but the dark chocolate almond nuggets are actually bomb. Mm. As another snack, I'm gonna have more of these chocolate churro gobo chips, the turtle chips, cause man, they are bomb, especially frozen actually. It does give it a little bit more of a crispy, crunchy taste. Mm. I need more of my angel me ones. I'm gonna have a post walk spin drift. It's currently 7.50 p.m. My mom just came home from work, so that means there's gonna be food soon because we're both hungry AF. I'm starting off with some nurungji. Wow, this is harder than I thought it was. It tastes good, but I have very weak teeth, so this is a bit hard for me to munch on because my teeth are very sensitive. Mother actually just made me a koguma latte. My mom has the recipe on her Moksuyama channel, so go check that out. I love koguma. I have a full apple.
apple right here. These apples have been so crispy lately. There's some creamy pasta with some shrimp on top. Mm. I'm not usually the biggest fan of spaghetti, but once in a while it's really good. Time to taste test mommy's snackity snack. It tastes like candy. It's so crispy and perfectly sweet and just like melts in your mouth. So this is basically a vegetable pancake with eggs and breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs give it a little extra something something. Finally, the dried Pollock soup is ready with some tofu. It's super, super healthy and clean. Mmm, wow. It turned out really good today, Mom. It is 8.20 a.m. on Thursday morning. We have some of the dried Pollock potato and tofu soup from last night. Then Mom actually cooked up some fresh barley rice, which looks so good. Mm. The broth is just so creamy. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best Google Cooks mom's ever made. Barley rice is delicious. We have a very, very crispy piece of pancake. Mm. Have some vinegar in there. I'm excited because Sarah and I have a busy day. I want to take us to the library. And I haven't been to the library, you guys, in over a year. And the library is one of my favorite places ever because I love reading. I just love the vibe at like bookstores and libraries. Dessert is some fresh apples. I just finished all my soup, all my rice. I was gonna do some work because I just got back from a walk slash jog with Sarah. Oh, hi. She is showing me a Stray Kids Kingdom performance and they covered B2B, I'll Be Your Man. It's such a coincidence because we went on a trip over the weekend and I was like blasting I'll Be Your Man by B2B in the hotel room and nobody cared because I'm the only B2B fan in this family. Stray Kids covered it and Sarah's a huge fan of Stray Kids. Okay, I'm like a fledgling fan. Felix, I love you. Marry me. Unlikely, but. <laughs> How dare you? I'm excited. Someone. Yes. Oh my god, what's wrong? Oh shoot, the vocals popped out. We just got to the library and you guys have no idea how excited I am to just do a little work and like sit here at the tables and like be surrounded by books. You're a nerd. We know, it's been established, Sarah. That's really yummy. I can have this in so long. I like how there's like not a lot of like noodles in there. Mm, it smells so good. Oh that looks so good. I like it. I wish the noodles were a little more um, firm, but other than that, they're super good and flavorful. I think the taste is really good, but I kind of agree. It's a little bit like squishy. I like how the meat here is like really lean. We'll give you our full review later in the car. We're just gonna eat peacefully and enjoy the rest of our sister date. Well, it's 4.30 p.m. We just finished our meal. It's time to give our ratings because we didn't want to give it in there. Unsatisfied. <laughs> That's the short and sweet version. The ambiance is really nice yeah. great for like a date time. Yeah. But I should have known once there were no people. What would you give out of 10? A 6.5. That's oh. being generous. I was gonna give it a seven, just because the worker was super nice. Like oh, the yeah, service was really nice. nice. We just got home, it is 5, 10 p.m. So Sarah immediately went to the freezer <laughs> and got the boba ice creams out. I've had these once, but like a year ago. Sarah's never had them. I haven't even had boba in a long, long time. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like a very maple syrupy flavor. Coffee. It tastes like boba. Boba pearls in there. You guys have most likely had them, you know, if you were following the trend like a year ago when these came out. And also, they're so expensive. Four of these is $9 at the market. So that's another reason why I never buy these. This for me is a nine out of 10. Mm, me too. But I did want to say, today is Thursday and I am filming a few other videos for you guys. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna take a break from this week and then start again next Monday for the tracking calories week. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Yeah, just a just Disclaimer. Baby Clo! Hi, Baby Clo! Her iconic little spot. Look at her, she's like vertical. Good morning, everybody. It is 9 10 a.m. in the morning. I have a bunch of panchan, tofu, dried squid, some odang, and clams with some freshly cooked rice that I'm this morning. Mm, I love purple rice. Sarah's cooking up some mackerel at the moment. 
It's like a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. It has like a very thin and crispy texture. Wow, the mackerel is sizzling in the air fryer. I got another little thing of rice and then I have a mackerel right here. Mm. Sarah and I are sharing one more half of another mackerel. Last thing to really end my breakfast is Simo Orange. I'm sharing with Sarah. We have this beautiful bento box with two California rolls, two gyozas, which are like chicken dumplings, and salmon teriyaki, some white rice over here, and miso soup on the side. Good quality salmon. So there's chicken and cabbage, I think, in there. They do it really well. Look at these cute veggie rolls. You'd be surprised how good vegetable rolls actually are. They don't have any like crab meat or anything in them, but they're very tasty. Post walk snacky snack of chumlet. Mmm, Korean melon's always so refreshing. Hi, Chloe. If you want to know a quick summary of what Sarah and I were talking about when we were on our walk, we were talking about self-confidence, self-love, knowing you're a bad bee and you are a beauty and carrying yourself with that confidence. It's very easy to forget. Oh wait, Rachel, you are literally the baddest bee ever. This is mommy's fried nudungji Korean popcorn with some sugar on it. I'm just having some for a little breakfast before we go for actual breakfast. Mm, these are seriously so crispy and good. Guess where we are? Joy Cafe! We have been craving the superfood banana pancakes for literally like two Ages. or three weeks. Yeah. Mm. How's their look? A uh, mustache. <laughs> I mean, it's always good, but it's like got that nice little bitterness. I always forget how good the latte is. Me too. It's just like that perfect mix of the bitterness. I feel so awkward though. There's so many more people out now. Probably gonna keep it short and sweet today. No mukbang. <laughs> Our food just came, so Sarah and I are gonna eat the pancakes and taste test it for like the third time. <laughs> That's so good. I'm also really feeling because it like has a lot of like healthy fats. Fiber. The high today is like 82 degrees, so it's like summer summertime so it feels so nice to like eat outside so refreshing mm -hmm. good for the mind mm -hmm. sarah and i are probably gonna devour this so we're just gonna do that and then go home i just met someone that actually watched my videos so Hi i'm guys. like shook so my name is bar and i got the matcha maker it's really good mm -hmm. highly recommend it's really sweet tastes like vanilla and it's blue also, yeah. yeah also she's a sweetie so Everyone give her some love in the comments. So pretty. I am kind of shook because we had like a full on like really good conversation with Bar, I think. Bar was her name. Shout out to you girly because she was so sweet and like so mature. This is only my second time ever meeting like an actual person that watched my videos and girl like it's just nice to know Rachel's subscriber base, like hardworking queens, independent queens. The people that watch my videos are like real. Like you guys are like real people. These kind of interactions like remind me of that. So thank you guys so much for like being here and watching my videos and supporting me. And I hope that like through my videos, you guys can see me as like kind of like a friend, I guess, going through life together and stuff. If you see Rachie in person, just go up to her, have a conversation. Oh yeah, 100%. Like y'all, if you see me, just say hi. I will literally remember who you are because there's not that many people that actually <laughs> recognize me. <laughs> it's 3 p.m. I just got back from the hair salon actually. And obviously my hair is a lot darker. So I just got a tone and then there's like layers throughout. Like turn around. Anyways. I just want to show you guys because my hair's been kind of crusty for a while. I tried a new technique with these bangs that have been haunting me for the last six months. I kind of like how it turned out. Like, I personally think Sarah looks good with bangs, and I'm sure my comment section will tell you the same thing. So what we have here is some fried tofu with eggplant. We have some patsy with beef, yellow curry this time instead of red with potatoes and chicken. So much better than that one Thai restaurant we went to last time. <laughs> Sorry, no shade, but shade. Real shady in here. It was just unsatisfying because Thai food is definitely like up there in terms of like types of food I love. Especially now with COVID, a lot of places are raising their prices. Obviously we don't feel too bad because we're supporting a small business, but at the same time, like I feel like I'm getting my money's worth to some extent if the food is good. But that place was kind of like pricey, but like not that good. So I was like, 
I'm slowly becoming a fan of Stray Kids. First, Felix's deep voice compilations on YouTube got me. I noticed Bang Chan and then Hyunjin. Well, I and noticed Min Ho. Yeah. And then, you know, because by the transitive property. I assume very talented. Serving number dose. Dessert time. We have mango sticky rice with purple rice, coconut milk, and a fresh mango. Look at how like juicy and yellow and soft this mango is right now. Mmm. We stole some moms, so I have a quarter of one here and some mango. Hey, good morning everybody. It is the last day of the week for this What I Eat in a Week tracking calories, and it's Wednesday at 9 a.m. Mom made this wonderful feast. I have missed mom's food so much. So there's chicken purgulgi or chicken gooey or whatever. Purgulgi, some lettuce. Oh my gosh, look at humongous pepper. I've been missing a home cooked feel. We haven't been having like Korean food. Plus I've been eating out a lot. Yeah. Over the weekend, Friday through Sunday, I was just eating out. So there's the chicken. Mmm, nice and sweet. I like the seasoning. Ooh, these pieces of purple gear are like so lean and flat. Okay, so I just dipped it in ketchup. It's still good, but it's definitely a very subtle flavor, not sweet like the other one. Look at Chloe, she looks so tired, I know. 3.45 p.m., we've been literally napping all day. I did some editing, I've been so exhausted, literally so exhausted. So, we're having some Korean melon. We have our first snackity snack, which is kamja pancake, which is basically hash brown. Nice and crispy. It is a little bit cheesier than usual because of the Parmesan. Pancake number two. It is 4.50 p.m. We have a beautiful platter that mom made for us of mu, carrots, cucumber, avocado, crab meat, and ginger. Soy sauce on the side. And then we have a big plate, which actually this is small, but we're gonna make more of the squiddy rice kimbaps that you see in my other videos. We have cool and peanut butter on the side, and then we have a K-drama. Pause for a second. Who? Who? What? What? Why did we not know he is in this drama? Why? Why? He's in everything. Yeah. Wait. He's in Prison Playbook. He's in this. Back in the oh my oh. god. Oh, he's so cute. Mommy informed me that we have some green tea Kit Kat. Sarah brought down some pink Starburst, my favorite. Thank you for watching all the way till the end of this video. I hope that this video showed you how irregular my calories can be throughout the week. Some days I'm really just not as hungry as other days and sometimes I work out a little bit more and so I'm hungrier and sometimes I work out a little bit more and I'm still not that hungry. So it really just depends on your own body. So definitely listen to your body. That is the most important thing. Your body is going to be telling you how hungry you are just because the computer or the internet or whatever, some person tells you that you're supposed to eat this number does not mean that that's true. But at the same time, I know that intuitive eating is what works for me. And if calorie counting is part of meeting your goals and you're not going to be obsessive about it, then keep doing you. I'm not trying to shame you for calorie counting. If that works for you, then do it. It's just really important to be well informed whether you're calorie counting, whether you're not. And before we end this video, I want to remind you guys again to follow me on Instagram at Raytisa Kim because I definitely do read all your guys' DMs. I try to read all your guys' comments and recommendations for K dramas or food. I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.